What's happening? Brian Tong here with everything Google that we can pack inside of a show. Let's get to it. And a few weeks ago, we were wondering if Android N was going to get rid of the app drawer with all signs pointing that way. But a new LG video showing off their latest user experience shows off three different styles of home screen that allows you to keep or remove the app drawer so you can all now take a deep breath knowing it will be there. Yes, your app drawer is still safe and sound. Now the constant flow of Android phones keeps on rolling and Huawei's new P9 flagship phone has pretty much been completely revealed on the wonderful World Wide Web. The phone is expected to have a 1080p 5.2 inch screen, but you'll notice it has a dual camera setup, a dual LED flash, a fingerprint sensor, and USB-C support. No secret is safe, especially in China. The official announcement will take place on April 6th in London. Samsung is also gearing up, you know, get it, gear up, for the new Galaxy S7 Active, codenamed Poseidon after the Greek god of the sea. According to Evan Blast, the S7 Active is being tested at AT&T. Now, if it follows what we've seen in the past from the Active line, we can expect a less elegant design that's really replaced with a more durable one with possibly even better protection from water and dust. No release date has been targeted yet. And Google has been sending out its confirmations from its raffle for Google I.O. in May. But if you are rejected, like that girl who did you wrong on your senior prom, well, Google has announced the Android Experiments I.O. Challenge. It started as a showcase last year to demo the cool things that can be done with Android. Your project can be anything that leverages the power of Android. It could be a game, an app, or even a robot. The top three projects will earn their creator a trip to Google I.O. this year. And if we're talking about experiments, Google is still trying to figure out how to deliver Project Aura, the modular smartphone, the right way. Now, some new questions on Google's opinion rewards are asking how much you would pay for different features after a purchase six months later that really sound very Project Aura-like. We don't know what, if any, Project Aura developments we'll see at Google I.O. this year or if the project will just fade away. Hopefully not. Now, Mountain View's planning office has released the latest renders of Google's tent-like campus expansion to its Googleplex office. Biz Journal reports on the lower profile structure designed to blend in with the environment, or it could just be the world's largest camping trip ever. And you know what? They already have marshmallows on campus. Now, this is still in the very preliminary stages with no date set for anything related to the expansion. And we normally don't get to see much behind the walls from Google, but they decided to show off a 360 tour of their data center that you can watch on YouTube or your own Google Cardboard. Now, the thing I noticed here the most the creepy lurking security guard guy. But if you want to peek at something cooler, you can now tour the Bat Cave from Batman vs Superman with Google Maps. Yes, you can check out above ground, below ground, and all around the Batmobile. Forget the fact that the movie wasn't that great to me and hurt to watch at times, but this dulls some of that pain and is really just a cool, fun thing we're checking out. All right, that's going to do it for this week. You can email us at googleicious at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong. I'll be gone next week on vacation to this glorious place I call Hawaii. So we'll skip another week and then be back for some more of that Googleicious. Googleicious. Delicious. Delicious.